This is the first show that really shows the iPads and the iPhones. I'd got the brushes up pretty much straight away and uh, I started drawing on it. I liked it, I loved the method uh, of drawing on it. You, you, you're drawing on a sheet of glass really, I mean you can't really overdraw for instance, which you can on a piece of paper, uh, but on a glass you can't. Drawing was going out of style, actually. I mean, it was. I, mean, uh, I did joke at one time, I'm amazed that the, it's the telephone that can bring back drawing. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. Well, I've seen this painting now in a few different places. Um, it toured England, uh, then it went to Mexico City, it's been in Korea, it's been all over. And they always sent me photographs of it and things. Well, I was in LA when I thought of how to do it. And uh, I thought, yes, we could paint it outside from life. Uh, and, uh, we did, I mean, all, practically all of it. Painting very large canvases is not that easy if you think about it. I mean, you've got to move up and down. You've got to, I mean, stepping back, as I point out, you can step off the ladder. Um, I thought it was a good idea anyway. Yeah, I, think, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I've always been into trees, but um, from oh, 2004, I got into them a lot, lot more. And lots of people did tell me I'd made them look at trees again. Yes, they did. They hadn't noticed them, or they just took them for granted. I thought they were all the same, or something like that. And, uh, but. Uh, trees are like an individual person, each one is different, all the leaves are different, all the snowflakes are different, <laughs> everything is in nature, isn't it? Barry was, um, he was doing a show in LA, so I said, well, could I just paint you for three days, it'll take. He said, uh, yes. Well, I knew he was going to come in something good. I mean, of course, he's very, very funny. <laughs> uh, it was um, very enjoyable doing it, very enjoyable. But uh, I enjoyed doing them all. When I painted about 20 of them, I realized, well, it's rather good, this. Um, same chair, same things, but they all look like individuals, and that's what they were. I spent nearly two years on them, uh, over. I mean, I've always done portraits, always. Uh, um, but uh, this was an unusual thing to do to make a whole one work for it, really. I think I see it as one work, essentially. Um, but I probably see all my life now as one work. <laughs> I've never spent much time looking back. Painters live in the now, I think. I mean, you want, you want to live in the now. Uh, it's always now, as I say. All art that's alive is contemporary, I think. I mean, if it's alive, if it's speaking to you now, it's, it's alive. 
the art of the past is uh, still alive, it's still with us, if it's any good at all. I mean, yes, it is. I see it as all one, really, I do. Happiness seems to me a, a retrospective thing, actually. It's only if you look back, you think, well, yes, I was happy then. I mean, uh, I mean, I haven't been that unhappy. I mean, after all, I've lived in the better part of the 20th century. The first half was pretty grim, and the second half was a lot better. And I like joy. I think pictures can be joyful, very joyful. Uh, I think they should be sometimes. I hope this is a joyful show, I like it, I like it to be a joyful show. You have to acknowledge flatness and you can escape perspective. Any single uh, film is a perspective picture. I mean, that's, where, that's the source of perspective. perspective came from optics. Perspective is a law of optics, actually. I think there's a lot of new things coming, I think, probably with film and things. But um, in the end, video brings its time to you, and you bring your time to pay.